Some people think cryptocurrencies are a bubble, waiting to pop just like the dot-com bubble in the early 2000s. Bubble fears are stoked by the fact that so far in 2018, various cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum have been having a tough ride. After soaring in 2017, Bitcoin plunged in the first three months of 2018 by nearly 50%. So is this a repeat of the dot-com bubble? Here's what you need to know. There's a clear distinction between the internet as a technological breakthrough and the thousands of dot-com companies that crashed. You might not remember many of these companies, but there's no denying the internet has become a critical part of modern life. So using that same analogy for cryptocurrency, what about blockchain, the technology behind Bitcoin and Ethereum? Blockchain is experiencing a growth spurt too. And a number of exchange-traded funds launched in the last few months, promising to enable people to invest in blockchain technology without buying any cryptocurrency, charging substantially higher fees than other technology ETFs. So what is blockchain? In its simplest form, it's an immutable digital ledger that records every transaction of assets as a series of links in the chain. So the more one chain gets traded, the longer and longer it gets. On a blockchain, so-called miners solve complex computational problems to validate transactions on the network and are rewarded in Bitcoin or other such coins. One of the reasons it's so well-liked and viewed as so transformational is because it's nearly impossible to forge a blockchain transaction. This technology is viewed as transformational as the internet was 20 years ago, and it's already changing the way the world handles money. Vanguard is using blockchain to transfer investment information between brokers and investors. Walmart is using blockchain to track its products, from what farm its fruit came from to where its products are located in storage rooms. In a recent research report, Goldman Sachs wrote, blockchain technology provides a simple, secure way to establish trust for virtually any kind of transaction. The other thing blockchain does is cut out the middleman. Instead of going through a bank or a financial center, blockchain is decentralized, keeping its own record of each transaction for each unique chain. So the important thing to remember is that the fluctuating value of cryptocurrencies doesn't affect the value of blockchain. No one knows what the future holds for Bitcoin, much like no one knew what the future would hold for internet startups in the late 90s. But the blockchain technology behind cryptocurrencies is considered revolutionary by many experts, much like the internet. The good news is that if cryptocurrencies were to crash, it still wouldn't affect the way blockchain works, just as the end of Pets.com didn't bring about the end of the internet.